my name is Dr. George Sparks, and this is Biblical Archaeology from the Ground Down, sponsored by Bible Interact. Had an interesting program for you today. Uh, number one, before we get into this, we just had released on YouTube four archaeological discoveries found by young people. Today, I'm going to add another one. Now, this isn't a major discovery, but I think in light of some of the movies that we're seeing uh, promoted by Hollywood right now, like The Pope's Exorcist, I guess there's going to be several other Exodus Exorcist movies coming out, that this article was interesting to me, and I believe you're going to like it as well. Uh, it was um, written by Ruth Schuster on August 3rd, 2023, so I'll make sure she gets the credit for the article. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, Shai Schooler on, was at a Day of the, the Dig. So I guess it's an Israeli high school student was at the Day of the Dig. So they all go out to go excavate and learn. And while she was at the Day of the Dig, she found what we call a mirror plaque that was used to actually fight against the demonic forces of evil. So this broken artifact found in North Israel was actually missing its mirror. So what we have here is a evil eye reflector. We have some uh, in the museum. Usually they're, they're round uh, circular devices made of plaster. They got perforations on the top and there's a concavity, a round concavity in the center where they would place um, polished metal. And they could have different shapes and sizes. They can be made out of plaster. They could be made out of metal. Um, so, but we do find these at archaeological digs, and they're not completely uncommon, but it is rather cool that a, a young student would find this. Now, the broken artifact found in northern Israel is missing its mirror, but it's a type found during the late uh, Roman and also the Islamic period. It was used for vanquishing demons that could pose quite the problem in the ancient world. It's probably the same today, right? But what about infestations by these external evil spirits, the spirits of iniquity? They need to be vanquished also. So they would usually place more than one of these evil eye protectors throughout their homes or businesses, all right? Just not in one room. Amulets such as this would used for hopefully repelling foul fiends back to where they need to go, at least out of your house. Interesting enough to know also that uh, depending on one's translation or interpretation of different artifacts, that um, items used to repel evil spirits go back actually tens of thousands of years. Now, the case of the artifact found this week by a 17-year-old Israeli student at the ancient site of Ucha, a temporary home of the Sanhedrin, is made a little clear in this article. What did she exactly find? Well, the mirror itself is missing, as we already know, but the archaeologists believe that it once um, was used. And this is the IAA, the Israeli, Israeli Antiquity Authority, at the dig that it was once used over 1,500 years ago as a mere plaque to repel demons. And this particular one should be dating, they said 1,500 years, dating to the late Roman or Byzantine period. So the fourth century to sixth century CE. And this was announced by the IAA on Thursday. So hooray for that young lady. What a neat little find. Now, theoretically, it could have alternative uses, such as, now this is a Roman word for divination, patoptromancy. The Roman art of divination using mirrors, or had some other use. But the use of mirrors to ward off demonic spirits was practiced in more than one religious circle in antiquities. Avi, Avi this is the little girl's name, Avi Verzman, was participating in a young leader's survival course for pre-12th graders and spent Monday morning at the ex educational ex excavation in the northern village of Usha, directed by the archaeologist Anna Abu Abad, when she found the magical mirror. At first glance, I guess, what are you going to do at a mirror? First glance. At first glance, one might think it just another piece of pottery found amidst the ancient walls and ruins, but the identity of this device for protecting against the evil eye was determined on the spot by the IAA member, Dr. Inat Abar Aman, Arman. This is our assumption, uh, she says. 
mirror plaques were not functional as looking glasses. That means like a mirror that we'd use today. As we would think them, they were usually quite small as an evil eye reflector. Now, many such have been found by Israeli archaeologists. This newly unearthed one is almost exactly like the one found in Yavne Yam in 2007, which also features a ring of chevrons. The frame on which the mirror would have been placed would have been made of clay or stone or metal. One made of lead was also found in a grave in the form of a rooster. How were they supposed to work? Well, the malevolent would see its own reflection and then be horrified or depart, or simply it would bounce back like a ray of light striking a mirror. Well, that's how. Thus, the living or the dead, since this could be also placed among grave goods, both could be protected. Now, let's go back to the Byzantine period, the evil eye repellent. By that period, the mirror would have typically have been used or been made with glass. In other words, they're leaving the polished metal. Now, they're using a form of, I guess, glass over the metal. So it looks more like a mirror today. Uh, the earliest known reflecting surface was actually polished volcanic obsidian uh, from the Neolithic period, and it was found in Turkey. At the emergence of metallurgy, polished metal could serve the purpose. Pottery from ancient Greece shows depictions of them gazing at themselves and handheld polished metal mirrors. So mirrors for grooming purposes uh, was quite common and was in use. The earliest glass dates to about 5,000 years ago and wasn't like anything that we know today, but mirrors made by coating metal with glass only began as early as the Byzantine period, around the third century. In this case, the evil eye reflector, this one that Weizmann found, this young lady, in the educational excavation at Usha, the mirror would have been glued on with plaster. That's interesting. That's how they get the little device to stick on the plaque as they use more plaster. Um, the marks in the circumference are mirror decoration. Others found in Israel from the late Roman period and early uh, Byzantine period had other decorations, some quite complex. In other words, they were supposing that the painting, the artwork, insignias, or what have you, that might be on the plaque would have also significance in divination, but I guess not. They're just saying this that was just decoration. And we'll take a look at a plaque later on. The marks around the circumference are mere decorations. Others found in Israel from the late Roman and early Byzantine period have other decorations and some are quite, uh, quite complex. A paper published in the Israel Exploration Journal in 1964 shows a number of them, some simple and round and and some in the shape of females. Some are zoomorphic in the shape of an animal, such as one in the shape of a fish with the depression in the center where the mirror would go, another in the shape of a rooster, and one in the shape of a dove, and so on. The paper describes a circular one decorated with alternating raises and painted chevrons and dots of red and dark blue and yellow with a piece of blown glass in the center. And it was held in place by uh, the plaster frame and surrounded by a gold border, so they're probably quite attractive. Some have multiple depressions for multiple glass inserts. So in other words, they have multiple, uh, multiple reflectors on one device. During the Roman period, mirrors likely too small to serve to see oneself satisfactorily were reportedly also used as catoptromancy, one of the many techniques developed to try to contact the supernatural. The why somebody would do this for divination and put these mirrors in a grave, that is a question that even archaeologists at this point do not have an answer for. I guess why put a divination mirror in, uh, in a tomb? In any case, maybe that's one you can answer later on. Give us some comments. Why do you think they would put a divination mirror, I should say an evil eye reflector, if you will, in, in a tomb? to keep demons from entering the tomb? I don't know. And this is what they're saying. Even archeologists don't have an answer for this. So put something in the comment. Let me know what you think. In any case, 
uh, in the Israeli archaeological context, mirror plaques have been found from the late Roman period through the early Islamic period. Many have perforations on the top for hanging them. Over the years, archaeologists have argued fiercely over what these mirror plaques were used for. And it is, of course, possible that they have many different uses, including different uses in and from different people groups, let's say their, their religions, whether it be Roman, other pagans, Jews, or early Christians. But all these harbor unhealthy beliefs in evil spirits. And many of their descendants, I guess they're saying religious descendants, many of those within the Roman beliefs, many of those in the Jewish belief and Catholic beliefs, it continues on. And as I said, even in ancient uh, or foreign countries, they still practice Catholicism, which many do, all right? They still have this belief in the evil eye, all right? And many of their descendants continue to do so and to try to fight demonic forces using artifacts to this very day. So there you have it, folks. That's a very interesting find by a young lady, 17 years old, at an archaeological dig. He found an evil eye reflector, at least part of one. And usually by, you know, through fragments, we can piece them together. Or if we have enough of a fragment, we, we know what that item was used for. So there you have it. And uh, an ancient item, artifact, used to repel demons. Now, I think for the rest of my day, I'll try to clean up this little device. It's, uh, it's pan, a terracotta pan. Isn't that interesting? So on we go. Fun stuff. You have a great day. I'm, uh, I'm going to have a good day. So thanks for listening. Give us a comment. What do you think of a evil eye reflector in a tomb? Why would they do that? I don't know. All right. See ya.